Okie poo cakes, we're going to read the next two chapters of The Wild Robot. Last week we read about Rico 2 getting destroyed by the three bears. Nell and Thorn were able to get the Rico to fall off of a waterfall and Rico 2 just shattered into pieces. The only robot that is now left is Rico 1. Rico 1 finds Roz in the treetops um, swinging from branch to branch and starts to chase Roz. All of the animals are trying their best to throw things at Rico 1 or make holes for Rico 1 to trip into so he can't catch up to Roz. Unfortunately, Roz loses uh, her uh, wooden stump leg and isn't able to run from the Rico anymore. She ends up hiding underneath the seaweed, but she gets caught and there's a big blast that happens because she used the Rico 1's rifle. Uh, Roz loses her arms, Roz loses her legs, and now all she has is just her head and her body. Rico 1 ends up uh, shutting Roz down with by clicking the back of her head, the button on the back of her head. So let's keep reading. Chapter 75, The Last Rifle. With the target deactivated, Rico 1 calmly moved on to the next phase of his mission. He limped through the gravesite and began collecting every single robot part. He splashed into the shallows and returned with a foot. He shook the sand from a cracked torso. He pulled a head out from a tide pool. Each part was then piled around Roz's lifeless body. Bright Bill watched in horror as his mother slowly disappeared under a pile of parts. Roz looked just like the dead robots, but she wasn't dead. She had simply been shut down. Don't do it, Bright Bill. The flock tried to stop their leader. It's too dangerous. But the goose was determined to bring his poor mother back to life. Bright Bill crouched low to the ground and slowly moved toward the pile of robots. And when Rico One limped away to collect another part, Bright Bill sprinted over the rocks, pushed past arms and legs, and squeezed into the pile. Click! A muffled voice echoed across the shore. Hello, I am Rosam Unit 7134, but you, can, but you may call me Roz. Bright Bill hugged his mother's face as her computer brain rebooted. Mama, wake up! What happened? She said finally. Where is the Rico? He's coming this way. What were you both thinking? What were you thinking, Bright Bill? You must leave now before he kills us both. I was scared, Mama, cried the goose. I didn't know what to do. Heavy footsteps stomped toward them. Robot parts were knocked aside, and then Rico One looked down with his glowing eyes. Bright Bill tried to squirm away, but thick fingers locked around him like a cage. Mama, help! cried Bright Bill as he was pulled up from the pile. Please do not hurt my son, begged Roz. He is harmless. Rico One paid no attention to Roz. He just held up the goose in his giant hand, ready to crush the life out of him. Mist swirled in the breeze. Waves sloshed against the rocks. Seagulls circled above. No, not seagulls. Vultures. And one of them clutched something silver in his talons. The vulture spiraled down and Rico Three's rifle clattered onto the shore. Geese and otters quickly surrounded the rifle. They squawked and squeaked and fumbled with the weapon, trying to aim the clunky thing. The hunter was confused. How had those animals gotten a rifle, and could they possibly know how to fire it? They did know. The geese had seen a trigger pressed before. A beam of light briefly flashed through the gloom, at first it seemed as if nothing had happened, but a moment later, Rico One's chest began glowing a bright, a brilliant orange, and then it was melting and oozing down to his front, and soon there was a wide, gaping hole in the middle of his torso. His hands suddenly unclenched, 
and Bright Bill fluttered away. Sea water sprayed over the gravesite, and steam hissed up from the Rico scr from the Rico scorching hot guts. He shook and twist he shook and twitched and collapsed beside Roz. Rico One turned his face to Roz and spoke in a quiet, garbled voice. More Ricos will c c come for you. And if you d d destroy them, still m more will c c come. The makers will not r r rest until all missing robots have b b been r retrieved. When? When will they come? said Roz. How long do we have? You c c can still be fixed, Roz. Go to the airship. B -b bring all of the robot parts w with you. The ship knows what to do. His voice went silent. His eyes went dark. Rico One was dead. Chapter 76 The Broken Robot Geese and otters were bustling all around Roz. They were pulling arms and legs out from the robot pile and pressing them against her body. They were they were hoping to hear thwip sounds and that the robot limbs would snap right into place and Roz would return to her old self and life on the island would go back to normal. But nothing happened. No matter what they did, the limbs wouldn't attach. Our robot's body was too badly damaged. I'm sorry, Ma, said Brightbill, his voice trembling. I thought this would work. It is okay, son, said Roz calmly. I am lucky I can still think and speak. The animals tried to smile at their poor friend, but they couldn't hide their sadness. Roz was a mangled wreck, and there was nothing they could do to fix her. The robot wanted to be strong for her son and her friends. She wanted to ease their worried minds and tell them everything would be fine. But Roz knew that everything would not be fine. She looked down at her broken body. Then she looked up at the geese and the otters and said, I will need some help getting home. 